How the Army will use additive manufacturing and 3D printing capabilities in the future is on the mind of the Army's commanding general responsible for science and technology and research and development. Major General Cedric T. Wins from the U.S. Army Research Development and Engineering Command met with officials and scientists and engineers from the Army Research Laboratory at Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland, December 19th. The general spent the day getting briefed on the latest technologies Army scientists are pursuing to make American soldiers safer and stronger, such as the Warrior Injury Assessment Mannequin Program, or WIAMAN. The WIAMAN program uses advanced anthropomorphic test devices with a wide array of sensors to analyze and discover how to improve the protection of the military's ground vehicle systems. Army scientists and their partners at Johns Hopkins are using advanced holographic lens, the HoloLens from Microsoft, to explore simulations virtually and gain new understanding of how blast injuries affect soldiers. Later, the general toured the laboratory's 3D printing facilities and questioned Army engineers about the future of additive manufacturing. How long does it take to get that system back into the fight? You know, so it's a ready, it becomes a readiness right. discussion, right? Wins became the leader of RDECOM in August 2016 and is continuing visits at the many labs and centers under his command. For ARL-TV, I'm David McNally.